My first year actually celebrating June. Um, I wanted to kick it off by going down to Washington, D.C., to Black Life Matters Boulevard, and celebrating being black. All right, so here's the plan. Um, since I'm coming from New York, and my best friend, my bestie, Ty Ty, is coming along with us, I decided that I was going to hop on the New Jersey Transit and get to New Jersey. And then from New Jersey, me and Ty Ty are going to drive from Jersey to D.C. So... I ain't gonna front. I am so very excited about this shit. This is gonna be amazing. <laughs> Juneteenth. Juneteenth is an annual celebration for the end of slavery in the U.S. Technically, the Emancipation Proclamation was effective in 1862, but not everybody knows. This is our Independence Day. All right, so we're halfway there. We're in Jersey. Um, so, Ty, Ty, I'm waiting for her to come pick me up. I didn't take much video of the drive there because it was just like a straight drive and then we was just talking shit on the way there. <laughs> so I fast forward to us being here. So now we've made it. We made it. Despite everything that's going on in the world right now, DC is still a beautiful place from what I've seen. Um, the scenery that I did manage to get, I just had to get this guy. <laughs> it's just funny. Like he was pissy drunk in the middle of the day off of martinis. He was giving me straight public defender vibes. I'm not going to sit here and pretend like this is Disneyland, like this is a sight to see. This stemmed from police violence, and it stemmed from violence against black lives. So um, just to get a sense of where we're at, I put in an aerial picture of what we're looking at. Um, this was painted in June 6, 2020. This mural was painted by various members of the Department of Public Works. And afterwards, the mayor, Mayor Bowser, Muriel Bowser, um, renamed the plaza Black Lives Matters. And now, here I am, standing right in the middle of the action. <laughs> No, but I mean, there wasn't that much action there. Everybody was social distancing. Um, you can see all of the businesses around there were closed. I saw some street vendors. So right off the bat, I was like, I definitely want to go and check them out. Anytime I can, I love to make sure that I do my part by supporting black owned and small local businesses. So I picked up a face mask and I also picked up a shirt as well. Um, and I got this cute little hat. His performance was phenomenal, but I had to cut the audio because uh, YouTube will flag me, <laughs> and I don't need that.
Yeah, so, I mean, we are currently living in a time where, you know, stuff like this exists. Um, This down here is very much like a makeshift memorial for all of the black lives that were slain in America. And, um, And it's right in front of the White House. So, this is very sad, but it's also very true. And that is the whole reason why I felt like it was very important to come down here on Juneteenth. Um, so, of course, we got to end this off the way that we always do. Um, originally, this wouldn't be called Major Eats if we didn't grab something to eat. So let's talk about it. All right. So we dined at McCormick and Schmick's. Um, This is in D.C., right around the corner from the White House. They specialize in seafood and steak. Even though this is my first time being here, I feel like normally during normal operations, I feel like this is the place to be. Look forward to spending about more than $50, um, $50 and up on your bill. Okay, so my appetizer was stuffed bacon wrapped shrimp which was really good and they had like a corn pico de gallo with it and then I also got a salmon salad, Caesar salad. And sis, she got a bacon hamburger, just what she got, bacon cheddar hamburger. Sis also surprised me and I was pleasantly surprised with this um, cake, this slice of cake, it was very nice. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I appreciate you guys, and don't forget to go out there and celebrate Juneteenth.